So first up, and just to make this perfectly clear, we're actually filming this yeah. before any other news has come out about this. But basically, earlier this week, Elon Musk tweeted to say that they're working on Tesla's secret master plan number two. Yes. Which is going to be published this week, hopefully. Yeah, which means that... By the time we release this, it may well have been officially published. Yeah, so we're just going to guess. So we're just going to speculate a bit about it um, because it sounds cool. But So the first Tesla secret master plan was way back in like 2006. And that was the whole, you know, make a really make a like a really flashy sports car or you know really yeah. uh, so this high is what i was thinking car, and then yeah. build a, a, high, a, a low volume high expense luxury car and then move into like the more yeah. affordable stuff that yeah. was their first sort of secret master plan yeah exactly which is what they've kind of worked through now and obviously the, the model three the cheap affordable the affordable one isn't actually yet being produced no but, but it's been pre-ordered and... that plan has sort of happened basically sure it's been so. put in motion they're kind yeah. of they're kind of at that point they're nearly at the end of it they yeah. don't have any after the model 3 there's no publicly announced plans basically. no 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 so working on a second secret master plan i love this way he refers to it as that <laughs> as if it's going to be like some world domination sort of thing. yeah well there's, there was news wasn't there about solar city yeah merging what so was that, that might so have something I didn't to actually, do with it i didn't actually hear what the story was are they a, are they actually like officially merging or is it tesla just a, made a bid tesla basically contacted right. solar city which is another one of elon's companies he's, or at least on the he, board of it or something yeah i think he was involved in setting it up he's one of the founders i think with his brother potentially yeah, was it his brother i, think, I, it's his cousin. I think it might be his cousin some anyway anyway some, some family members um, um yeah. but yeah tesla have made an offer to buy them basically to acquire them in for shares basically okay um which was is Soda city struck no, it wasn't struggling no was it? not particularly don't know tesla shares are all over the place i know i know i know but that's just the way it it's goes just a battleground stock but let's have a quick look at solar cities oh, they might they might have jumped if uh yeah i don't think no i don't think solar city were particularly struggling but obviously the board of tesla their, their thinks it's a really lower, good idea it's generally it's, it's gone up and down basically it's at the a low kind of thing mm. at the moment anyway, but I think the idea yeah. would be that you have this could, because obviously Tesla building the Gigafactory you're going to produce a shitload of batteries at the Gigafactory the whole thing is going to be solar powered because it's going to be packed full of solar panels on the top yeah. um, though I think the and, and Tesla designed all these like power wall is that what it's called the power wall the yeah. batteries that you have at home mm-hmm. that you when you have solar panels you can store power and you, you yeah. know, during the night you can charge stuff whatever um it kind of makes sense to fold in solar cities installing solar panels sort of business and then work that. And, and yeah yeah. yeah yeah and then you have the whole system all the way from building the batteries storing energy you know harnessing sunlight driving cars the whole thing is just based on this yeah this architecture sure sure i mean they've always sense. been I suppose uh, hand in hand technologies and some yeah, synergy I mean, has existed between them. Um, so yeah, it, ma- it kind of makes sense for Tesla to buy it in that, yeah. in that for that reason. I don't think that's what the master, the secret master plan. I mean, it might be something related to that, or how that might have something to do with it. Yeah, but um, we have no idea basically until they make the announcement. But I think it's going to be something based on the way that Elon Musk and his company sort of will operate. I reckon it's going to be something that sounds quite radical when they announce it. So what what are you thinking? Well, I reckon, and I've, I've actually seen a few articles saying the same thing, so it's not like it, it's, I can't claim this is my idea or anything. Sure. But, but basically, that um, they'll, and we've talked about this before, but that they'll um, basically be announcing that they want to turn into like a public transport company, yeah. more than just a car company, more than just a car manufacturer, yeah. sorry. So moving into the kind of Uber style uh ordering cars with your phone but the cars now are going to be autonomous teslas yeah um so i think we were talking about this when we were talking about the future of transport or something maybe it was in one of the episodes where we were talking about where in the future you'll have no one will really own cars and uh in the city at least and you'll just order a, an autonomous vehicle that was this the, was the autonomy episode wasn't it yes it was yeah. yeah yeah and we were saying like oh who's going to own them and stuff and who's going to look yeah. after and, and and maintain all these vehicles well maybe companies like tesla Maybe they're one of the first. They're going to produce and maintain and yeah. operate a fleet of autonomous vehicles that uh, you can order on your phone and and turns up at your door. So that's that. That's them turning into a sort of. They're going down and that's not 
ex- that's not all public transport. Of course. So, so the, what I was thinking was, okay, yeah. what what, e- what Elon Musk was saying was that he wanted to. He thought that all transport was basically going to go electric, yeah. except for rockets. Yeah. Um, and so the, the door for Tesla is kind of open to. I mean, they're probably not going to do things like trains because they're already electric trains and stuff at the moment. Okay. But they they could go anywhere with 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 Tesla for any type of public transport, electrifying public transport or any type of transport. So planes. Do you think Tesla are going to planes? I think I that's a separate know. company, probably. I was thinking that you know they could go heavy goods vehicles. They yep. could go, um, you know, any type of of. of transport really any anything that like cleans the streets like any any type of infrastructure they could potentially milk floats <laughs> <laughs> yeah they, they could get in on all, all those different levels so everyone's gonna have milk if ima- finally if you imagine their pyramid was like small volume high cost yeah and then like moderate moderate and then like high volume low cost type yeah i think so it's like a sort of pyramid shape yeah and then then you end up getting like segments they'll probably do like paralyzed that par- like developing two things at once yeah um so the next level down after the the model um e will probably be model not the model three e, the model three uh because that's, yeah, that's what it was called um will be you know two cars they might end up doing like another version of the roadster maybe or something like that yeah and uh a kind of i don't know like a, a heavy goods vehicle or anything like that I mean, they, they can start they can start like doing more than one product development at once now. yeah sure the idea would be under that what is supported by that high volume low cost product where you're getting a lot more revenue is the development of more products at once Hmm. and so you kind of end up with this this again a pyramid shape where it kind of gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger until you're like developing a lot of stuff but yeah i mean they could go i mean so that's kind of that's that's kind of different to what i was suggesting it's like i I was just trying to work out if there they could be sort of steps in the same um you know, in the, in the same way that the original master plan yeah. was had these three steps, if there could be also three steps. To, well, I think I think or multiple steps. I think they may go down the route of doing multiple products like that, but I think your and whoever's been you know been talking about this is absolutely right. That's clearly what I mean. That's going that's going to be a big business. That's obvious. I mean, it's going to be huge. Autonomous vehicles are going to be a massive, massive commodity in the future. Yeah, and, te- and Tesla are you know spearheading that in a lot of ways. Exactly. So. They've got they're getting so much data from autopilot. Yeah. Um, and they, you know they're going to be rolling these things out. There's autonomous car tests happening all over the place. Yeah. Uber's hugely successful. You can easily replace it, those. It's drivers not hard to connect the dots between those. It's two not things. at all. So that's absolutely going to be their plan mm. so it's like a i don't know but i'm just trying to think what that like plan might look like whether they go for a kind of it's more of now now instead of products it's like a sort of structural plan of changing the structure of mm. Mm. of how things operate and, and development because it's and more of a st- autonomy and and this style of where you're they're producing yeah. the cars and stuff that's the, the the technology doesn't exist for autonomous cars quite yet sure but they're not building new cars particularly they're just putting stuff on a few of them yeah um you've got to have a few more instruments and bits and bobs to yeah. help them read the road better and stuff but they're not developing a whole new product then tesla's now with some extra bits on could be autonomous could be, yeah it's just software development yeah um so it's, it's more like restructure it's like a whole new infrastructure type yeah that, it, yeah it's a, totally, it's a different it's, business almost it's almost a different business yeah instead of just manufacturing cars you've now got to think about maintaining a, hu- a public transport system yeah. network over potentially the whole US I guess or, or yeah they'll do the it localising cities and yeah. stuff first probably San Francisco or something first yeah 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 and then and it's worth expand. going on a trip to San Francisco if they if that does happen it gets implemented <laughs> I don't know when I mean it took 10 years roughly for them to get their first master plan done so say like 10 to 15 years from now if you can go to San Francisco maybe not even that long go to San Francisco and no. order an autonomous Tesla uh, worth a trip to San Francisco purely for that to order an autonomous <laughs> yeah, Tesla <laughs> I'd do that <laughs> get on a hyperloop to get there yeah oh man yeah um, I mean Tesla was it Tesla no it was SpaceX that were involved in the hyperloop stuff I don't see the hyperloop being any part of um, Tesla of Tesla's no. of this plan or no, anything no, like no. that um, I don't see it being there's a, there's a possibility that it could be related to multiple product developments I just wonder if because they, they said about the 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 different those three different levels yeah you know sports car luxury and then a, a, a car for everyone type thing they said about that ages like when they first announced that master 2006 plan. or something so, yeah although we didn't see the products for a while we saw them you know a lot we, we sort of knew what they were doing a long yeah. time ago I wonder if it will be such a clear cut thing this time where they say we're going to develop two products and we want one of them to be this and one of them to be that 
I mean, that would be awesome if they said. Yeah, it would because you know one of them. Last a- time, it, they I mean, they said that and they just did it. Like they 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 worked that plan and yeah. so the whole time you're kind of looking forward to this happening and then it did like as just as they sort of said they would. Um, so if that if they do give you such a prescribed give us such a prescribed plan again this time that'll be pretty exciting i think things like autonomy feed into things like heavy goods vehicles oh yeah and street cleaning things construction and every, vehicles construction vehicles everything yeah i can't help but think that if they they aren't just going to become a glorified taxi service like there's there's much more tesla can do um, yeah although the glorified taxi service is potentially the biggest deal oh oh yeah 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 oh yeah oh, sorry um, i sound like i'm downplaying that yeah, yeah, but, yeah. um yeah no absolutely it is and that's the thing that they are but they've I, got to do like that's an absolute that's they're definitely going to end up doing yeah because that. that's i mean that that really will revolutionize the way people get around but i don't see that being the only plan this no. master is going to be in this master yeah i think there's going to be more than that sure it's like once you crack autonomy properly and there's all it, yeah. these things below i mean and good, good tra- vehicles yeah and you transport tracking. across the country taking goods shipping, shipping you know construction cleaning all the stuff that we've just been chatting about yeah i mean they probably won't go into i think they'll stick to road vehicles probably i don't think they're going to end up doing like i said trains or ships or any stuff like that i think they're going to all be road vehicles mm, i would mm. imagine yeah um mars rovers <laughs> <laughs> maybe and then they can buy shares in spacex or something yeah so the spacex mars colony will be like everyone will be flown there by space spacex everyone will drive around in tesla rovers <laughs> and get around from from base from habitat to habitat on hyperloops i you tell you what that is not that I, I would not be surprised that's if, what elon sees in his head when he goes to bed at night yeah when if, he sleeps if like, mm. if if, <laughs> if the things they drive around on on mars if the, if spacex get there and set up colonies and all this sort of stuff that they are like tesla branded kind of little yeah. vehicles you know yeah with a little t on them because this is slightly off topic but well that's what this show is called i guess so all all about. um when you go to when we go to mars okay uh, and he, Elon Musk has talked about this there's a whole kind of pit of different uh special uh, of careers of, of of opportunity to set up you know establish established businesses established markets etc mm. on mars it's like a you know a deep blue sea kind of situation yeah, sure. where you've just got any a limitless number of you know people need to be providing rest all the services you expect on earth people need to set those businesses yeah, up from scratch and so companies that get there early are going to have the best shot at sort of almost like monopoly i wouldn't be allowed to monopolize well i don't know what the rules are on mars there'll have to be some stuff done there but to, to, to establish themselves as like brands on mars where there's not much other competition yeah and so yeah it's not like you could like, order a pizza from earth no it's obviously not gonna be possible so no. yeah you're right there's all these things are gonna be and people are gonna get to know like whatever pizza slate. brand that is you know that's yeah the martian there. pizza brand yeah called something yeah. yeah yeah so all yeah you're right all these things it's gonna be open sort of open floodgates yeah yeah it's going to be like the wild west basically like the u.s in the early days just set you know just a a big open environment Mm. in which you know people are going to go and set up all their all their different businesses all their different lives and and rebuild everything i wonder if how many brands would carry over you know is it going to be yeah would you get starbucks and the martian colonies and you know mcdonald's and stuff or would the people that go there first to set them up have their own brands set up there and and how long will it be until that kind of yeah because at first it's just going to be we've gone way off topic here the first it's just going to be like a kind of an antarctic research base kind of situation probably um fairly self-sustaining yeah, yeah. um but reliant on shipments coming in yeah, yeah, yeah. and you know, not going to be worrying about sort of starting up their own fast food joints mm-hmm. and stuff immediately like initially but once you have thousands and millions of people living there um then yeah it will a culture will arise you know a, a yeah businesses brands and, and music construction <laughs> everything and everything yeah yeah, yeah. I mean, a lot of stuff you'll be able to get a lot of things like entertainment and things beamed from earth yeah sure a lot of electronic stuff yeah will still be available yeah from earth easily but some of the stuff you can't send so easily well, well things like music and things will develop probably oh their, their own, own cultures will develop. And cultures yeah, yeah, they, yeah, will, yeah. they will but you'd be shared you'd be shared so you'd be checking out martian music yeah or something Wow, that's that's deviated from Tesla. It heavily. Has, it has. So anyway, predict, predictions for the Tesla announcement uh, are going to be that. So it's- you're you're say- we're saying there's like uh, the tax the 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 kind of diversification into fully autonomous fleets of vehicles that are providing like a sort of structured transport yeah. network within cities. I still think they'll sell. They'll want to sell cars, obviously, to oh, people yeah, who want to buy cars. Well, I mean, yes, they will, but that, yeah. But they'll 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 they may go in the direction of not doing of, that. Will be to phase that out or to to kind of 
um, not maybe not directly phase it out, but but to push, but to try and push society in the way of, of phasing that out. If you see yeah. what I mean, yeah, of um, going by down... supplying this other service, which just makes more sense and is better. Yes, um, and then diversifying the types of vehicles they're building. We're thinking oh, well, that's another one. Yeah. of the predictions we've kind of thought, I guess. Yeah. yeah so yeah. Anything... trying to imagine what a, like a heavy goods Tesla heavy goods vehicle would yeah. look like. Probably be pimping. Yeah, it'd probably be very <laughs> cool looking. <laughs> um, yeah, or just the you know the entire road network, or almost everything they they could, they could have a a, a hand in changing, just switching from from gasoline to battery powered cars, mm, battery mm, powered vehicles. Mm. So apart from, I think I think the limit though is is I think they're limited to they're going to limit themselves to road type vehicles. I don't yeah. think we're going to see anything more about anything yet or i don't think they maybe they won't ever go there is things like trains or whatever i think that's their separate businesses essentially mm-hmm. like you're saying the aircraft i think that's a separate that does, yeah, a does seem a separate, separate business yeah. they may share technologies and things with them but i don't think that's what we're going to hear no no i uh, yeah so I, I think agree. those two aspects some some plan based around those yeah i mean we could be totally wrong it could be something completely yeah. different and if we get it dead right I mean, we did actually film this in the f- before it happened. <laughs> yeah, we need to. We need like a. How do you prove that? <laughs> um, have you got a date? Oh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> it really doesn't matter. No, it is the. 15th and to be honest, we just picked out some relatively like obvious things. <laughs> yeah, it's not yeah, like yeah, yeah. They're, we're going to think we're like profits. <laughs> they're going to build. They're going to build a space elevator. <laughs> well, that, that that would be uh, coming out of left field. If you predicted yeah. that, then <laughs> you are right. a profit. Yeah, it's the fifteenth of July, by the way. Take my word for it. Right. Is that right? I don't know. Yes, it is. <laughs> the dates will screw up. Friday yeah, the fifteenth of July. Yeah. 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 Okay, so that's our prediction for for Tesla. The master plan. 